What if Slack or Discord didn't cost you a dime and instead you could own the chat app outright? One that you have complete control over. Hosted securely on your own server, your data stays yours. No subscriptions, no per seat charges. It shouldn't cost tens of thousands of dollars every month just so your team or community can chat. That's Campfire and it has a wild backstory. Let's dive in. Campfire first launched in 2006 from the team behind Basecamp, Hey, and Ruby on Rails. It was one of the earliest real-time chat apps for teams. Then it was retired, folded into Basecamp, gone. Until last year. In early 2024, Campfire came back. It was the very first once.com product from the folks at Basecamp. Sold for $299, one time, no subscription, no recurring charges. And now it's completely free and open source, which means you can host it yourself, tweak the code, and even contribute back to the community. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to set up Campfire on your own server using a $12 DigitalOcean droplet and a domain you already own. By the end, you will have your own self-hosted chat app ready for your team. So what is Campfire today? Here's what it looks like. If you've used Slack or Discord, you'll feel right at home. You can create rooms, send direct messages, mention people, search, share files, and yes, of course, there's mobile support. The big difference here is you run it on your own server. You own the data, and you can even dive into the Ruby on Rails code and make the changes you want. To set it up, you'll need four things. A domain name you already own, like campfire.yourdomain.com, a $12 a month digital ocean droplet, SSH access to your droplet, and if you sign up on once.com, they'll send you a personalized install token, which you can use to install Campfire on the droplet. Let me show you how. Okay, so the first step is to create a droplet in your DigitalOcean account. So I am logged into my DigitalOcean account. I'm gonna click on droplets and create a new droplet. Choose your region, which in my case is gonna be New York. That's the closest region. For the operating system, I'm choosing Ubuntu. We can leave the defaults for the version. For the CPU options, I'm gonna choose two gigabytes. And the reason for that is if you go to Campfire's website, they recommend you should use two gigabytes of RAM and one CPU for supporting 250 users and if you have more users then the requirements go up a little bit but we are starting off with pretty basic so I'm, we need two gigabytes of ram i tried doing this with one gb and that didn't work the installation failed so i recommend going with at least two gb which is also what is recommended by the folks at campfire so back on the screen of creation of droplet, I'm gonna choose regular, that gives me a few more options. I'm gonna choose two gigabytes of RAM. I have already set up my SSH key, but if this is the first time you're doing it, I recommend creating an SSH key. There are essentially two ways that you can log into your droplet. One is an SSH key, which is a much more secure way of authenticating with your server. The other way is using a password. You can set up a password here and you would need to punch in your password every time you try to connect to your server from your terminal. I recommend using the SSH key. It's much more secure and it protects you against brute force sort of attacks. I've already set it up, but if you're doing this for the first time, you can click on new SSH key, follow the instructions here to set it up on your terminal and paste the key into this box. I'm gonna skip through that since I already have that and I am going to give it a name which is a bit more meaningful so I can remember what this was. Uh, let's actually call it my campfire. I'm gonna put this in a project called first project and uh, let's create this droplet. So that'll kick off the creation. This takes like, usually takes about like a minute or two for it to get created. Once it is done, you will get an IP address and we will need that IP address to SSH into our machine. In the meantime, I am going to go back to once.com slash campfire. Now, like I said, campfire is open source. So there are two ways to install campfire on a droplet. One is that you can of course go to the GitHub repo and follow the instructions of the GitHub repo, which walks you through using Docker to set up campfire on the droplet. But the really easy way or the fastest way is to sign up on once.com slash campfire and receive that email, which includes this URL. Once you have this URL, you can just SSH into your machine, into your droplet and paste that and that will kick off the installation automatically. So it's the easiest and quickest way to do it, but you can of course do it through the Docker method as well. So back into the DigitalOcean console, I think we are done. Yeah, droplet has been created. 
Before we can set up Campfire, we need to set up the domain that's pointing to it. So I'm going to go into my networking tab, click on domains. I already have a domain here, so I'm going to click on that and create a subdomain for it. So what we'll do is add an A record for test campfire.cstack.dev and this will redirect to the new installation that we just had and we'll create the record. Now this may take a little while for it to propagate and when they do, we can go back to our droplet and then click on the droplet that we just created, click on console. And now we will paste that URL again now this may fail if the DNS has not been propagated quite yet, so we may have to wait a few minutes for this, but let's give it a shot. We named it test campfire.getcstack.dev. So try this, testing network. Okay, so it's preparing, the installation is kicking off now. Okay, it's downloading now. Okay, here we go, it's starting. And once this part is done, it's gonna give us the URL that we can navigate to and start setting up our campfire Okay, looks like we are all set. Campfire has been installed. We can give it a shot at this URL. So I'm gonna copy that, go back to another browser and fire it up. Okay, so we are on the welcome screen. So I am going to create our first user and let's give it a name and a email address that I wanna use, give it a password. And the first user will automatically become the admin. At this point, you can start inviting your team members to this Campfire account. It works pretty much exactly like you would expect from a Slack or a Discord sort of environment, except this is completely hosted on your own server. You have complete control over this installation. And I invited my colleague Misra to this while I was testing and prepping up for this video. And you can do that by just sending off this URL. And that's it. You now have Campfire running on your own server. No subscriptions, no recurring fees, and total control of your data. From here, you can invite your team, tweak the Rails code, or even customize it to fit your workflow. So that's Campfire, a chat app that started in 2006, disappeared, came back in 2024, and now lives on as open source. A big thanks to DHH, Jason Free, and the Basecamp team for bringing Campfire back and giving it to the community. I'll drop links to the GitHub repo, once.com, and DigitalOcean droplets in the description. Thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments if you're trying this out for your team. And if you found this useful, please hit the subscribe button. We've got more deep dives coming on open source tools and self-hosting.